historical myths that are still regarded as fact the Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels once said if you tell a lie big enough and keep repeating it people will eventually come to believe it there are many examples in history which are living examples showcasing how true Goebbels words were not every story documented in history is true and neither are all the incidents some were fabricated while others were so widely publicized that eventually the lies turned into facts here are 10 such examples of historical myths that are still regarded as fact myth one countess elizabeth bathory used to bathe in the blood of virgins to regain and maintain her youth Countess Elizabeth Bathory was a Hungarian noblewoman who is considered as one of Europe's most notorious figures. She was accused of torturing and killing a number of young women. That's why she was nicknamed the Bloody Countess and the Vampire Countess in popular culture. It's believed that Bathory used to kill virgin maid servants and then bathe in their blood as a way to preserve her youth. This story originated in the 18th century. It became a popular aspect of her personality after the bloodbath scenes were depicted in numerous movies. But there is no evidence which proves this claim. There are proofs of murder and torture committed by B3. During her trial, many people testified against her. They had claimed that she used to inflict torture and murder girls. But the stories about bathing in their blood began emerging years after her death. Myth 2 Plymouth Rock was the stepping stone for the Mayflower Pilgrims following which they founded the Plymouth Colony in 1620. Plymouth Rock is a famous rock located at Plymouth Harbor in Massachusetts. It is reputed to be the spot where the Pilgrims first set foot on land in 1620. But surprisingly, there is no mention of this rock in the two first-hand accounts of the founding of Plymouth Colony. One of them is a book, Plymouth Plantation, written by an early governor of Plymouth Colony, William Bradford. The other one is a document called Mort's Relation which contains the writing of Edward Winslow. The first written reference to Plymouth Rock can be found in a document written by Elder Thomas Flance. He wrote it in 1741, which is about 121 years after the arrival of pilgrims in Plymouth Myth Hash. Three people convicted of being a witch were burned at the stake during the Salem Witch Trials. In between February 1692 and May 1693, a series of hearings and prosecutions were conducted in Colonial, Massachusetts. The trials were conducted for people accused of witchcraft and are known as the Salem Witch Trials. Twenty accused were executed as a result of these trials. It is usually believed that the people convicted of being a witch during the Salem Witch Trials were burned at the stake. But in reality, no one was burned. Out of the twenty accused, fourteen were women. Nineteen people out of twenty were executed by hanging. One of them, Giles Curry, an elderly Salem farmer, was pressed to death with hash for George Washington Carver invented peanut butter. The rich, creamy and yummy peanut butter has a history longer than we can imagine. It has been consumed since the Aztec culture but in a form different than what we consume it today. Aztec people used to make a paste of mashed, roasted peanuts. The modern peanut butter is usually believed to be invented by George Washington Carver. This is not true. He popularized peanuts by promoting more than 300 uses of this legume. Some of the uses of the peanut promoted by Craver are shaving cream, shampoo, glue, and many others. The invention of peanut butter is credited mainly to three inventors. Marcellus Gilmore Edson, Dr. John Harvey Kellogg, and Dr. Ambrose Straub. Marcellus Gilmore Edson patented the peanut paste made from roasted peanuts in 1884. This peanut paste is made by milling the peanuts between two heated surface. Subscribe now.